Welcome to this video on signal integrity analysis of a data center printed circuit board enhances SI wave. Before we begin, let's check out some amazing facts about the internet. Did you know more than 300 billion emails are sent and received worldwide every day? A stack of printouts of these emails would be 30,000 kilometers high, which is more than 3,500 times as tall as Mount Everest. And this is just email. Add video streaming, texting, and other forms of communication into the mix. We can see that an enormous amount of data need to be processed and transferred every second. These gargantuan data streams are stored and processed in data center servers across the world. These servers must be designed properly to not just process existing data streams, but to keep up with the explosive growth and demand in high speed data transfer. To transfer large amounts of data within and across server systems at high speeds, many engineering problems need to be solved. For instance, high speed digital channels must be optimized for server boards to transfer signals with low latency. A signal integrity simulation of a server system can assess these problems and provide significant insights into the channel's performance. In this video, we will learn how to configure one such communication channel on a server motherboard using ANSYS SI Wave and perform a signal integrity simulation. Here is a virtual prototype of a server board in SI Wave. The dimensions of this board are 60 centimeters by 38 centimeters. It has 20 metal layers and over 1500 differential pairs. This dense board supports 32 DIMMs. It has two CPUs and each of them has about 2300 pins. Let's zoom in to the PCIe area of the board. The data channels of interest are shown here. Signal reflections across the channels occur due to variations in the impedance of the transmission lines. In the top-down view, draw these regions using rectangle or polygon commands. These regions comprise densely packed vias causing impedance discontinuities along the channel. We will simulate the board in both frequency and time domains. First, let's run a TDR simulation to evaluate the channel impedance. Let's open the TDR wizard in SI Wave. Include the selected nets in the layout for the analysis. In this dialog, define the positive and negative TDR probes for the connector pins as shown. Define terminations for the CPU pins associated with the differential nets. The top panel in this dialog contains settings for the TDR probe parameters. The panel on the bottom shows the settings for termination configuration. Let's use the default. Next, define the step size and stop time for the transient simulation. Also specify the signal net port reference impedance. Define a frequency sweep as shown. We are using an interpolating sweep. In general, for lower frequencies, we can set the distribution to by decade. Note that the old rule of thumb for defining the stop frequency 
is 0.5 over the rise time. This equals 14 gigahertz for this simulation. When you start the simulation, SI wave automatically assigns ports to the differential nets. Looks like our simulation is complete. ANSYS Electronics Desktop is automatically launched and populated with a circuit, schematic and reports. Here is the channel response in the time domain. As you can see, there is a spike in the impedance around this time, one nanosecond. This inductive spike at the beginning is due to the vias in the connector breakout region. This nearly flat section of the curve represents the impedance of the differential prior traces. The differential characteristic impedance of the transmission lines in this region is shown here. The results from our TDR simulation look reasonable. Now let's run an analysis in the frequency domain. Open the Compute SYZ Parameters dialog. Define the solution setup. Specify the desired frequency range. This checkbox allows us to save the touchstone file in the specified folder after the simulation ends. Now launch the simulation. After the simulation is complete, plot the SYZ parameters. This plot represents the end-to-end -end transmission terms for the differential pairs. This concludes our video. We saw how a signal's characteristic impedance can undergo changes with higher frequencies along the conductive path. Using SI wave, engineers can design and predict the performance of high-speed channels effectively, leading to high-fidelity models of server boards. Come back to answers.com forward slash courses to watch more how-to videos on electronics. Thanks for watching.